Okay, in this video what we're going to do is learn how to create a shadow effect on a piece of text in Xara Designer Pro. So the first thing we want to do is create a rectangle. It can be any color. And then on top of that we'll create our text, whatever we want. And I'm going to make this fairly large bold and I'm going to make it white. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want with the uh, text selected we want to press control K on the keyboard and that will clone the text and we want to then drag that clone off to the side and we'll just make it a different color so we can see it. Okay, and then we want to select the original rectangle and the original text and subtract those shapes from each other. So what this has done is basically taken the text and subtracted it from the rectangle. And If I move this to the background you can see that we've done that. Alright, the next step um, is we want to create a shadow effect and we will do a wall shadow. And this is uh, basically what your uh, inner shadow will look like. So just make it whatever you want. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so the next step is we want to take our original text and move it back down directly in line with the original text. And that's pretty close. I'm going to move it around just a little bit here. Okay, that's perfect. Alright, so the clone text is now behind our rectangle and before you actually subtract the shapes what you want to do is set your color of your text. We'll make it white so that we can really see that shadow effect. Okay, and then just basically select both and what we do is a apply a clip view. And there you have it. Now we have an inner shadow effect on a piece of text and what we'll do here is we'll create another rectangle, send it to the back, and I'll move the text over it so you can now see the full effect. And the cool thing about doing it this way is that you still retain the ability to change the color of the text. So over here in the uh, layer gallery, we can expand this, select the original text, and change it to whatever color we want we can uh, go in here and do a, a linear fill on this and that's it you're done